How are you guys doing? Welcome. Uh, we have got ourselves our first icon moments of the year. Uh, Roberto Baggio. Um, and yeah, I love this time of the year um, when the icon moments are released. Uh, they are my favorite cards to try out. You know, they're very unique, very rare. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try over the next couple months to really uh, focus, um, fixate my attention on trying these these moments cards. Um, but yeah, Roberto Baggio, I've never actually really liked too much in the game. I never really see him either. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan. There's specific stats in there I feel like that he's lacking uh, that are really important for his position. And, um, you know, don't really, not necessarily make him unusable. But, you know, he he's just going to be very ineffective in really important uh, areas. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really unique card um, in the... F and the fact that he has really low, well, not really, but he has low stats in strange areas that you don't traditionally see uh, for a player of his, I guess, caliber and position. Um, so, yeah, what you, what you can expect with this card, right? You really don't want to use him at striker, but more in behind the number nine as either a center forward or a cam. So more as a creative outlet, um, your creator, your playmaker, and... Uh, yeah, he'll be the one kind of pulling the strings and creating chances. So a uh, good starting point, I think, will be the the pace. He's got 90 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. So at this stage of the game, I'd say for that, uh, for an attack player with that pace, I'd say it's quite average. I think you will want to boost it, probably with the Hunter. Uh, I think that's what I'd use uh, to also boost up some of the shooting stats. But yeah, with the pace, uh, I'd say he's quick. Um, but yeah, with that pace, you're not going to want to use him at striker because he doesn't have that breakaway speed. Also, not really explosive. Um, and I think there's a few reasons for that. Um, one of them maybe being the agility. 84 agility, right? So when it comes to on the ball um, and bursting past the defender, um, I feel like he wasn't able to do that. Um, at least consistently. Um, I feel like... Uh, like for instance, right, if you try to change direction on the ball really quickly, um, he doesn't feel stiff at all, not clunky. He actually feels very nice, um, his movement. Um, but I felt like he didn't, you know, if you try to change direction and burst, um, he's not able to do that. He's not explosive. So um, that, that was interesting. Um, usually that is associated with a player with lower balance, but he has 94 balance. Um, and then the agility stat is lower. So I didn't really know what to make of that. It's actually very interesting. Um, there's not a lot of players like that. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like the lack of explosiveness also when it came to those center backs, those really big tanky center backs um, nudging against him, I found he did um, lose balance quite a bit. He stumbled uh, a lot. Um, that also might have to do with the physicality because his physicality stats are abysmal. Um, 64 strength, 41 aggression. That's a really bad combination. As well, the 81 stamina um, is something to note. So we will um, struggle in the latter stages of the game maybe to be um, as effective. Um, but yeah, otherwise, the other dribbling stats, uh, 97 ball control, 96 dribbling, 91 reactions. Very responsive. Um, and I had a lot of fun with the five-star skills, even though I suck at skilling. Um, I found I was able to create a lot of openings um, on the ball um, with his technical ability. Um, and then you look at the passing, definitely my favorite thing about the card, his distribution, his playmaking skills. Um, you can see some of the, the passes we made with him over the top or just slotting the, the forward through. Um, you know, he's very accurate, very, um, you know, has some very pinpoint uh, distribution. So, yeah, I mean, if you just try anything, you know, even passes you don't traditionally maybe do, um, he'll probably be able to to pull them off, you know? So, uh, yeah, we were able to create a lot of chances uh, for my attack. Uh, he's got that 95 vision, 94 short pass, and 92 long pass. Uh, 94, uh, 95 curve as well, which I might, I think might help when it comes to, um, you know, kind of getting it past the defensive players. You know, that curve kind of, that added curve kind of helps. But, yeah, I thought the passing was definitely his strongest area, and he definitely has some of the best passing um, definitely up there with some of the best passers in the game, in my opinion. And then the shooting stats. Um, so 77 shot power, 85 long shots, which I think is quite mediocre. So when it came to range, I wasn't really able to 
do much with them. But inside the area, I thought uh, 92 finishing, he's very good, very clinical. And then that movement, very dynamic. I thought his AI intelligence uh, was really good. You know, he's really good at finding pockets of space. He's not static. And he doesn't make those stupid runs where the center backs are able to cover. So he's always finding these good pockets of space, um, which of course will allow him uh, to contribute a lot more. So yeah, it was a, it was a really fun card. Um, much more enjoyable for me um, than previous years. And I think once he drops a little bit, starts to settle, I think he's definitely going to be a very good option. So yeah, that's going to be my video. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching.